Have you ever wondered why you see a rainbow in the sky just after a rain? Where do these vibrant colors come from? Well, this can be explained by the phenomenon of dispersion of light. Let's see how we can create this rainbow ourselves. You will require a white light torch, a cardboard with a pinhole and a glass prism. In a closed room, place the cardboard between the torch and the prism on a table, draw the curtains and switch off the lights to darken the room. Switch on the torch. A narrow beam of light passes through the hole and falls on the glass prism. Amazing, isn't it? Newton was the first one to realize that a white ray of light, such as sunlight, is composed of different colors. When white light enters the prism, it gets refracted, producing seven different rays of colors. The angle of refraction is different for each color. Thus, each color bends through a different angle with respect to the incident ray and the colors split up. Separation of a beam of light into its constituent colors is known as dispersion of light and the band of colors is known as a spectrum. Now that you know how light splits up into different colors, let's find out how a rainbow is created. A rainbow is formed in the sky with the help of two things, the sun and water droplets. These water droplets could be in the form of rain, cloud or mist. Sunlight bends as it enters the droplets in the air. The droplets reflect off the sunlight internally and refract the light again as it moves out into the air. In this way, each water droplet acts as a prism and disperses sunlight. Together, millions of such tiny droplets form the bow-shaped spectrum in the sky. The acronym Vibgyo is used to remember the sequence of the colors in a white beam of light. From the spectrum you can see that red color bends the least and violet color bends the most. Now, let us go back to our prism and torch setup. What will happen if we place another prism in front of the emerging spectrum? Did you see that you got back the original beam of white light? What if you mix these seven colors together? Do you think you would get white light? The colors of the visible light spectrum when combined form white light. Let us prove this by doing a simple activity. Take a paper disc and draw seven sectors on it. Color each sector sequentially with the colors of the visible spectrum. Now, spin the disc. The disc will appear white in color. Remember that the disc just appears to be white. It does not really reflect back white light.